हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द इंटरनल टेबल ऑपरेशन कलेक्ट एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो बेस्ड अपॉन द रिक्वायरमेंट वी इंसर्टेड फाइव रिकॉर्ड्स टू द इंटरनल टेबल एल टी अंडरस्कोर डेटा नाउ वी नीड टू अप्लाई कलेक्ट ऑपरेशन मींस वेन एवर वी विल अप्लाई कलेक्ट दीज फाइव रिकॉर्ड्स will convert to these three number of records because it will make some based upon unique character and we have how many unique character abc admin abc hr abc trade now how to apply collect statement again one by one we will move the record to work area and we will apply the collect we will apply the collect so we'll see how to apply collect i will make a loop on the internal table and this loop will continue how many time five times because as internal table has how many record five records so i will write loop loop at lt underscore data and what is the name of work area lwa data for every loop there is a end now one by one record is going to work area now we will apply collect how to apply collect we have a dedicated syntax collect what is the name of work area lwa data into now i am writing lt underscore data so i am applying collect and i am collecting into this internal table this is the biggest mistake which maximum people will do it will always always give the wrong result just simple simple understanding this internal table has how many record five records so loop will continue how many time five times now on same to same internal table you are collecting also so just go for imagine you are are applying a loop on the internal table same time your collect result is also going to the same internal table so it will always always be a wrong result suppose simple understanding if i will not go for collect i am using append maximum time people will do this kind of mistake also suppose rather than collect if i will apply append suppose many time people will write like this also append per area to internal table now just see what we are doing we are applying a loop on the internal table loop will continue how many time five times first record will go to work area now you are again inserting the record to same to same internal table so this is a endless loop endless loop itself it will never never come out from the loop ultimately what should be the process it should come out from the loop after five iteration because internal table has five records but you are inserting again and again to same internal table it means this is a endless loop same case is here you are applying a loop on the internal table and you are collecting on to same to same internal table so it is a wrong thing itself it means your collect result should go to a different internal table your original internal table has five records after collect you want to go for three records it means result should go to a different internal table so we will go for different internal table always make a practice whenever you are applying a loop on the some internal table you cannot append on to same internal table you cannot go for collect on to same internal table else it will be endless loop or it will be wrong output itself so now we will collect the result to different internal table 
suppose I am writing lt underscore temp underscore data. Now I will declare data type will be totally same lt underscore temp underscore data type table of lty underscore data. Now our three number, our three records collected into which internal table? LT underscore temp underscore data. Our three results, our three records are in LT temp data. Now we will display. You all know I will apply a loop now on LT temp data because three records went to this internal table. Every loop, there is a end loop. Now I will go for write statement. Write. What is work area? LWA data. What is first column? Company name. What is second column? Department. What is third column? Company name, department, amount. And line has ended. I used slash so that output will be in a new line. And I used chain operator. Chain operator. Now, for the bestest understanding, for the best understanding, we'll see this in debugging mode. I will put a breakpoint so that you can understand fully how those five records converted to three records. I'll go to desktop. I will firstly show you internal table LT underscore data. Zero records, three column. I'll show you work area. This is the work area blank. Now currently I am on 13 number line, 13 number line. One by one record will go to work area. From the work area, it will go to internal table. Those who don't know debugging, but still they can execute through line by line execution. And we know no line by line execution is F6. 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 Now, first record went to work area. If I'll show you work area. You can see first record went to work area. From the work area, it will go to internal table. If I will do F6, you can see first record inserted to internal table. Now we are clearing the work area and you can see the work area is blank now. Now second record went to work area. Yes, second record went to work area. Correct. Now, second record will go to internal table. You can see internal table second. Now, we are clearing the work area. Work area is cleared. Now, third record will go to work area. Third record is in work area. Now, third record will go to internal table. Three records in the internal table. We are clearing the work area. Now fourth record in the work area. Fourth record will go to internal table. Now we have fourth record in the internal table. We are clearing the work area. Now fifth record in the work area. And fifth record in the internal table. So we have five records in the internal table. LT underscore data. Now we are applying a loop on this internal table. It means loop will continue how many times? Five times. And whenever loop will continue five times, whatever the record is going to work area, we are collecting into this internal table. If I will show you the new internal table as of now, it has zero number of records. Now, firstly, Loop will come for first iteration. Now, first record from the internal table went to work area. 
बट इज फर्स्ट रिकॉर्ड इन द इंटरनल टेबल ए बी सी एडमिन टेन थाउजेंड सो दिस रिकॉर्ड इज इन वर्क एरिया ए बी सी एडमिन टेन थाउजेंड दिस रिकॉर्ड वी आर कलेक्टिंग टू दिस इंटरनल टेबल इफ आई विल गो फॉर एफ सिक्स यू कैन सी फर्स्ट रिकॉर्ड इज इन द इंटरनल टेबल ए बी सी एडमिन टेन थाउजेंड now loop will come for second record now what is second record in the internal table a b c h r 20000 this record went to work area what is work area a b c h r 10000 now this record we are collecting into this internal table now what is second record a b c h r is it a unique character yes it is a new unique character so it will go as a new entry it will not club with the existing entry because it is a unique character now i am doing f6 you can see we have two records now this is unique combination this is unique this is unique character unique character now we have third row third record what is third record a b c admin 50000 now what is in the work area a b c 50000 a b c admin 50000 now this record will go into this internal table we are collecting collecting is we already have a unique character string present with a b c admin yes it is already present so it will not go as a new entry it will club with the existing entry whenever i will execute 50 plus 10 will become 60 but number of entries will remain two only two just see now we have 50 plus 10 is 60 and the number of entries is two only two we are collecting collecting based upon unique character value now i will go for fourth iteration what is fourth iteration a b c training is it a unique combination yes it is a unique combination because there is nothing present a b c training so it will go as a separate row you can see a b c training separate row now we'll go for fifth iteration of the loop what is fifth iteration of the loop a b c h r do you already have a something present with a b c h r yes a b c h r already present so 20 and what is the amount here 20 plus 20 it will be 40000 it will not go as a separate row it will club with the existing row and you can see whenever i will do f6 all five iterations done and we have collection result is 3 60 40 10 and we have how many records in the internal table after collect three records and we are displaying these three number of records and this is the result widely widely used operation in the project but the main mistake sometimes people what they will do strings are always always case sensitive string values are always case sensitive suppose we have abc company here i put admin in capital if here i will put admin in small both are two different character two different character values so they will go as a unique result so many time people will do the mistake one place they will put in capital another place they will put in small and they think why why it is not making sum why it is not making the total because string values are case sensitive in this case if i will go for the result if i will collect there will not be three records we have four records in the output have you seen this both are treating as unique unique this is unique character this is unique character because string values are always always case sensitive sap editor is not case sensitive you can write in small you can write in capital no problem but whenever you are going for values 
values always always make sense so here if you are going for admin in capital and if you want to collect you have to put in capital only otherwise it will treat as a unique different unique character combination now what is the summary of the video what we studied in this particular video we apply the collect operation on to the records and after collect we saw that three records are in the internal table most important two things okay never never go for collect on to the same internal table on which you are applying the loop else it will be always always a wrong result and whenever you are going for string check that string values are case sensitive okay so if you are going for capital then other if you want to make some other should also be capital otherwise it will treat as a unique dif different unique combination so collect will make sum of amount values based upon unique character values so that's it in this video thank you